Okay, continuing to work on the red slice, we will be looking at expectation and variance of a random variable. Now this problem is a little bit abstract. It's a little bit hard to understand, uh, even when you get the right answer, what it all means. So what I might do here is to uh, do a quick bit of review before we uh, get into this particular problem. And let's take a look here at our notes. Now remember, if we talked about the probability distribution for rolling a single die, remember we got this uh, table here. Basically, the x's tell us the numbers that can roll up on the die, and these are the probabilities that each of those occur. And we can see here that all of those probabilities are equal and at one-sixth. If we were to roll this die, say, 20 times or 200 times for that matter, and we were to average up the numbers that we got, so we might roll a 1 and then a 4 and then a 2 and then a 6 and so on. If we were to average those up, what would happen is that since these probabilities are equally distributed, that average would be right at 3.5, the exact center of this distribution. So if we take a look then at a particular problem, that Alex gives us here, we can imagine that we have some kind of a five-sided die. The numbers on the die are four, five, six, seven, eight, and then these are the probabilities. We're dealing with a loaded die here in some way that uh, the probabilities are not equally distributed, but they're distributed according to this table. There's a higher probability of rolling a five than any other number, so consequently what we can expect is that the average, when we calculate that, Alex calls that the expectation value, uh, the, the number that we can expect to get is going to be a lot closer to 5 than, um, than in the middle. So we'll watch for that and we'll calculate that. Now this calculation is a little bit number intensive and so what I'm going to do here is to give you some notes on this and what I tell people is with these notes and with this uh, set of instructions you could calculate this expectation and variance of a random variable if all you had was a sharp snick stick out in a snowbank. So let's take a look at that and then after I show you this if you want to you could cut right to the next video which I'm going to do the entire problem for you instantly here on your TI-30XS calculator. But let's go through the long way here. If you are so inclined to watch this I'll take you through it step by step in case you ever get caught without your TI-30XS. We're going to rely heavily on some formulas here. And uh, I'll interpret these more as we go along. But what's going to amount to here is that you're going to take your table that they've given us here in Alex. We're going to put those values in here. The x and the probability of x goes here. You're going to create two additional columns. And I'll explain a little bit more about why you do that and how you do that. So let's go back here and take a look at our numbers. And what we'll do then is we'll get those copied into our table. I encourage you to do the same thing. And uh, we'll get that done. And, of course, now we have that uh, table copied down. Notice that our formula up here for the mean, or the expectation value that we talked about, is given to us with this formula involving a summation, the summation of x times the probability of x. That means we're going to simply add up all of the x times probability of x, and the way we're going to do that is to create a column called x times probability of x, and what we're going to put in that is this number here, the x times its probability. So we're simply going to grab our Alex calculator here, and we're going to take 4 times 0.25. So that's easy enough to do. 4 times 0.25. Two, five, and of course that answer turns out to be 1, which we're going to record here in our table. And we're going to keep doing that. I'm going to multiply 5 times 0 0.35, 6 times 0 0.05. You do the same thing I do, and let's compare our notes when we get to that, to get that done. Okay, I got these values, and I hope you did too. What I'm going to do now is to add them up. I get for that that we have 5.60, which is an answer, by the way, because notice that the expectation value is the sum of x times the probability of x, or simply the answer to this uh, third column. So what we're going to do then is enter that back into our Alex calculator, and we will put in our first answer, 5.60.
And notice the next thing we need to do then is get back and calculate this variation of x. So what we will do now is notice that this variation of x is going to be the sum of x squared times probability of x. So I've created a column for that. And then we're going to subtract off the answer that we just got, squared. Okay, the expectation value squared, which is, of course, this answer. So what we're going to need to do here is to take our x values, square them, and multiply by the probability. So we're going to take this 4, we're going to square it, times 0.25. So let's hop back to our Alex calculator, start down that road. We're going to take basically our 4, we're going to square it, we're going to multiply by our probability of 0.25, and for that first answer then we get 4. So let's enter that into our table, and so we're going to have 4 for that, and we'll continue to do that on down the table. I expect you can do the same thing, and I'll meet you down at the bottom. And for these values, I get these which, if I total them up, I get 33.2 for that. Now notice what that is, is the summation of x squared times the probability of x. So now I'm ready to set up to do my uh, variation, or my variance calculation. I'll copy that formula down here again for you, so summation of x squared times probability of x, in other words, the fourth column's total, minus the expectation value, in other words, the 5.60 squared, the answer that we got from this column. Uh, we're going to need to do that now on our calculator. So we'll pop back over here to our Alex calculator. We'll calculate 33.2. 2 minus 5.6 squared. The answer that I get for that is 1.84. So I'll put that in right there and give that a test. And we can see here that Alex is happy.